Okay, well, let's see if we can get this to build and compile and put it back in shape. Write samples, check samples. If we look at those two functions, we don't have the number of samples parameterized like we did down here. So, um, I'm trying to remember, small amount of samples, large amount of samples. We originally had five frames, so I'm going to control L, control V, control V, just put five here. And uh, num samples this test. Num samples this test. And I expect, I hope, this test will still pass. To the pass, the rest of them should bomb with an assertion, but this test should still pass. And also, this test should pass, even though it's filling up most of the buffer. It should pass. And here we're going to the end of the buffer. That portion of that test should pass. So maybe we we would be wise to comment out these tests and ensure that my assumptions are correct and that the code is on par with what I'm doing. So I'm going to comment that out heavily. Control KC, Control KC, Control KC, um, and uh, go with that. And then let's see, this should definitely fail. That should epically fail. And we already know this test should pass. So this test should still pass, I think. And so I think for now, uh, let me comment this out and comment this out. And I should be diligent in keeping my layers of comments. Now, why am I doing so much commenting? I'm trying to really stress to my eyes that this is a to-do. This is something to look at. You know, I probably should add this as a to-do. Um, but anyway, let's just kind of my style of doing things. Let's see here. So we need to initialize the profiler. We need to shut down the profiler and then we need to do all this stuff. This is kind of repetitive, isn't it? This, the same as this, same as this, same as this, same as this. So heck, let's uh, break that logic into a function. Let's factor that out. Um, even this one, uh, except these should have the initialize and the shutdown. So really, what we want to do is grab this and make that a function. So void run tests on samples uh, unsigned int num samples like so, and then control V that in. And then we're going to pop, pop, uh, num samples, num samples. Now write samples and check samples doesn't take an unsigned int yet. And you might be thinking in your head, you know, Jamie, why do we have a separate test, separate test, separate test? Why do we have all these separate tests for a... Uh, for what looks like the same code, the only thing that's really changing is the number of samples you're taking. Why don't you just make one test function and then just copy paste or call this function several times with various numbers? And I could. I probably should. Uh, but one nice thing is when a test fails, I get this nice descriptive text there. So with my tests, I try to be reasonably granular, meaning break them up into small enough digestible chunks that make sense so that if one fails, I get a descriptive name that kind of gives me an idea of what I just screwed up and I can go back and fix it, that sort of thing. So that's my logic there. Uh, let's make write samples and check samples take an unsigned int each. So unsigned int num samples. And we're going to do the same thing here. And then control uh, mm would open this up. But uh, let me do this num samples. Oh, you know, there's a difference between a sa sample, the number of samples and a number of frames. Mentally, I think of a number of samples as being, here's a sample, and here's a sample, and here's a sample. So let me repent and call this num frames, not num samples. Like so, num frames, num frames. Uh, sa small amount of, you know, pretty much everywhere I see s the word sample, I want to replace it with frames. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to control H this. Actually, control I and I can type sample. Oh, I bet I've typed it so much. I, this is going to take a little bit of refactoring. Please bear with me and forgive me. Control H to replace that. Control C to copy the highlighted text. Control V and I'm going to say num 
frames. This test replace all. That might have been dangerous because <laughs> I didn't have match case, match whole word turned on. But I'm probably okay because I got all these underscores in there. So probably okay. Um, num frames. Let me do control H, samples. Whoops. Samples with frames. Match case, match whole word, replace all. Really? It's right here. Oh, I don't want to match whole word. Just match case. Let's find next. Oh, wow. Replace all. I'm probably really ruining my code. Good thing I use Subversion to back me up. Um, right frames, num frames. So what's this num frames? F12. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this, right? We're... We have various tests that are testing various numbers of frames, so I'm actually going to get rid of that. Force a compiler error. Compile error, if I'm not using it. Um, I can get rid of this. Wait, no, no. That's the right one. Right frames. No, that's not the right one. Wow. There we go. Uh, num frames. Should be num frames here. Control shift B. Let's ask the compiler. Yep, lots of things wrong. Uh, whoopsie. Huh, whatever. Write frames. Exclude incomplete frames. So I'm going to const unsigned int num frames this test gets five. Remember, this is one of our original tests, and we were just doing five frames. So I want to keep that like so. Keep that like so. And keep that like so. Control Shift B. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I promise. Num frames. It's really a dynamic value now. Control Shift F12. Uh, let's go back. Max frame samples. Oh, <laughs> oh! There's a problem with the way the way I've done this. Uh, you know, the compiler reads top down; it parses top down. It's saying, "I don't know what this is." Well, that's because it's down here, and you haven't seen it yet. So, here's what I'm going to do: Control X that out, paste it up here. Say public, like so. Control U. I said Control U. Control U. Private, control U, semicolon, control shift B. Let's ask the compiler what else we're doing wrong. Warning tree does is there. Okay, where are we doing some mismatches? Oh, this needs to be unsigned. Unsigned. And, and again, I'm going to show you later. We need to get rid of that unsigned in. That's kind of long and boring. Conversion from double to const unsigned in. So this is a double, and I multiply that to an unsigned integer and this expression will return a double so I need to force it to be back to an integer to get rid of that warning the compiler if I turned off warnings as errors the compiler would just allow that to go but it's still a warning so we need to be explicit and tell the compiler that's what we intend to do we can use several different casts here um, but the one I'm going to use is static cast again that's a word I've used a lot recently uh, but static means compile time cast I know at compile time, I want this to be an unsigned int. Compiler, do it for me. That's what the word static means. It can be statically evaluated by the compiler. So I hope you're kind of learning a little bit more that static. I mean, in object oriented and in programming, we teach you forever. Hey, static means it's shared amongst all classes. Well, yeah, that's true in that context. But really, static means compile time. So anyway, ugly cast, I know, but that's what I'm doing. Control Shift B, build started, build succeeded. Uh, hopefully all these tests pass. Let's uh, find out. Control F5. Boom! Something failed. Category index, dumb use categories. Large amount of frames non-circular failed. Oh, interesting. Let's look at that. Large amount of frames non-circular failed. So I said to go to 0.8 times up to the max frame samples. Okay, let's run this again. Category index equal equal num categories assertion f ooh assertion failed so that's not necessarily our unit test bombing that's um 
some code we wrote inside the the profiler. That's our C assert macro bombing on us. So next video we'll look at fixing that. We we'll, we'll probably got more errors past this, but since the assertion failed right there, that's the first one to come up. The tests immediately stop, and we're done. So let's let's address that.